Welcome adventurers to a special bonus episode of King's Quest Chapter 3 Once Upon a Climb. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to unlock all 9 achievements in this chapter of the game. If you're interested in the achievements for chapter 1 or 2, I have separate videos for those on my channel. So there are 9 achievements in this chapter and some of them you unlock automatically by going through the game but others you have to do special things for. I'm going to start right here at the beginning and show you how to get all of them so that you don't miss any. The first achievement is called a poisonous snake and right here in the beginning... No, I didn't abandon that owl family. I found a way to save this song. You just have to keep going right many times. Leaving that nest empty without its baby owl is not really a branch we are going to explore. No, no, I am forgetting an important part of the story. I should retrace my steps. Fine, you're right. I ignore that baby owl's high-pitched hoots for help. Actually, I took delight in the sound of its vest shredding in the badger's claws. In fact, I scared the bushy-tailed picnicker away so I could gnaw the owl myself. I spewed an evil laugh <laughs> as I plucked the last feathery tendon from my teeth. I knew this would be the end of that irritable owl. Is this the story you wanted to hear? No? Are you sure? Good. Give me a second. Let me gather my thoughts and remember what happened correctly. Absolutely terrifying. King Graham definitely has a dark side. So after you get that speech, if you go right one more time, you will unlock the achievement, A Poisonous Snake. Grandpa, watch out. A poisonous yeah. snake. Actually, snakes are venomous, Gwendolyn. But that's beside the point. The baby owl did not meet its end that day. And there you go. The achievement's unlocked. So this isn't for an achievement, but you need to grab this for an achievement in the future. So once you get to the castle here, just make sure you pick up all three portraits because you're going to need them later for another achievement. The second achievement is called Girls in the Tower. You unlock this one automatically just by playing through the game. You unlock it once you first climb the tower and meet the princesses for the first time. third achievement is called Moral Quarreler, and you unlock this one by winning a game of Moral Quarrel. If you want to side with V, she tends to pick the more logical, uh, courageous type answers, while Nice tends to pick the more fantastical ones. Hmm, let's see here. A. I agree. I would spend the long life becoming a master at the skills I have. Graham. A rich merchant inadvertently drops one shiny gold coin on the ground. You see a poor hungry orphan pick it up. Do you A. Convince the orphan to be honest and return the coin, or B. Turn your head the other way and let the orphan keep the coin? A. I figured their honesty would be rewarded with more than just one shiny gold coin. Nice. I chose A too. The orphan learned a valuable lesson, and would probably be rewarded for their honesty too. I pick B. Yes, at least in the dungeon I could keep a watchful eye on him. V and I won the game. Good thing, she seemed like she didn't like to lose. Nice was satisfied with her pick of the game. The fourth achievement of the game is called Teenage Townspeople. Once you get to this empty canvas here where Hagatha sleeps, just hold up all three of the portraits that we got earlier in the castle and you will unlock the achievement after seeing very funny pictures or portraits of all our friendly townspeople.
And there you go. So the fifth achievement is called Wetzel Wolf Watch Waver. And once you're on an adventure with Nice, and you get to this wolf here, do not shoot it. Absolutely do not shoot it, and you will unlock the achievement. That's not a good idea. Uh huh. I thought so. <laughs> there you go. That should feel better. <laughs> huh. Good thing I didn't shoot. I'm very glad you didn't. Shall we continue our adventure? Most certainly. The next achievement is called Gears of Shore. Once you come to this point when you're on your adventure with V, this might be a little tricky. pick the puzzle over the thing of strength and let me show you how to quickly do this. Pick the second, third, and fourth gears and then start cranking. Now once you run out of stubs, be sure to change the level. So that way you can continue cranking this thing further and further up. So after you cranked as far as you can go, be sure to lock it in place by going back to the first gear. And then take out these two. And then put on the first. And then the fourth gear. And then crank all the way to victory. And once you solve that puzzle, the achievement unlocks. The next achievement is called Harmonious Husband. And the way to unlock this is to beat this chapter of the game by making sure that Nice is your wife. The way you choose your wife in this game is based on the decisions you make. So just make sure you talk to Nice first, that you fix her loot that you win with her in the um, Moral Quarrel game. Just make sure anytime you have an opportunity to pick Nice over V, you pick Nice, and that way she'll become your wife, and at the end of the game, you can give her the loot, and that will unlock the achievement, Harmonious Husband. May I? Sure. Oh, oh dear, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Grandma. Just listen. This is my favorite birthday ever. Next up is the achievement called Perfect Puzzle Partner, and it's similar to the previous one, but this time you have to beat the game with V as your wife. Again, in order to make this happen, make sure you interact with V over Nice at any opportunity you have. For example, make sure you talk to V first, make sure you win moral quarrel with her, make sure you help her fix her puzzle box, do all those things and she should become your wife. Unfortunately, you can't get Harmonious Husband and Perfect Puzzle Partner achievements in one playthrough, so you do have to play through the game twice in order to get these two achievements. But it really isn't that bad if you skip the cutscenes, it doesn't take very long at all, maybe 20-30 minutes. The real present is what's inside that puzzle box. Let's solve it together. You turn that. I'll twist this. And that should do it. Oh, oh 
idea. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Grandma. Just listen. This is my favorite birthday ever. And then, Finally, the last be, achievement is called And They Lived dot dot dot. And you unlock this one automatically once you complete chapter 3 of the game. So all you gotta do is beat the game and you'll unlock this one. And that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for a ton of King's Quest content. I'm gonna be doing all of the old King's Quest game. I already have the first and second one up on my channel. And of course I'll be doing chapters 4 and 5 of this game as they are released in the future. Thank you very much and see you next time.